god, dude. Right guys, Liska Axe Murder House, here we go. It's Alex Gaddy and Ryan Burleson, first two team members in the house first. What I was saying is there's a, there's a really strong like, it's a really dark presence to me. Like it feels really heavy. I mean, when you know the history of this place, you're just, you're in here and you're just like, this is really, it's really dark. It is, you know, we spent, with it, this is Alex Gaddy on camera, Ryan Burleson behind the camera. It's only us two in the home. Um, it, hopefully you guys are up to speed. I know all the top fans have gotten a lot of private videos throughout the week. Um, we've done a ton of research um, on this investigation. It's, it is one of the, one of the, probably one of the darker, um, darker cases we've ever looked into. But in this room, in that, where that bed is, it's not the exact bed, but where that bed is, is Anna and uh, Lena St uh, Stellinger, ages 8 and 11, had their skulls bashed in with the butt of an axe. Uh, that's just two of the eight souls that were lost in this home. Now, there's not a lot that goes on in the living room behind me and in the kitchen. Uh, we, we have already heard footsteps tonight. During setup, we, we actually were all just laying in the living room quietly, just listening to the house and the sounds it makes. Uh, and, and the story is, is really crazy. It's so funny, all the stories that we read up to this point, they say that these two girls were the neighbors of um, the Moore family. They are not actually. The guy told us tonight they actually lived 10 miles away. Uh, they just asked them to stay with them that night after the church service. So I guess they were friends with the family. Yeah, they were they were good friends with the family. Did you grab that thermal and rim pod by chance? Mm -mm, oh yeah, okay. The th well, the rim pod's upstairs, so we're gonna leave it. This is the more active. You ready to go? Well, no, we're just gonna grab the grab this thermal, the thermal and the K two, and just do a little bit of something. We're gonna be staying in here tonight, so yeah. So we're gonna be we're gonna be sleeping in the home tonight. But I agree with Alex. Uh, you know, it's so, it's so funny. The more we the more we go about doing investigations, the more our feelings lay into this, and we start getting f senses and feelings on how a place. I guess you could say how it weighs on us doing this. Uh, matter of fact, here lays a Bible. There are several Bibles on the property. I was, I was pleased to see that. Yes, it's just me and Alex, or Alex and I, in the house right now. It's only going to be us two in the house. Uh, the temps are good, Paul. That's a good question. We were expected to be sleeping in the teens inside this home, but the owners actually put in a few heaters for us, and that the, the building actually feels wonderful. Uh, I'm talking, we could be investigating in shorts and T-shirts right now comfortably. So we're very, very fortunate. Uh, you, can, you guys can see right here, and Alex is using the thermal. It's hard to see. Yeah, it should adjust. There we go. How that dresser is so warm. It is, isn't it? I'm gonna go check out in here. No, people do not live here. So you're hearing this fireplace next to me rattle. I'm gonna, you wanna sit in that same chair? I'm gonna sit on that bed. Hopefully it don't collapse. And we're gonna try to see if we can talk to Ina and, or whoever. Ina and Lena. We, we did hear while we, when we slept, guys, we were in a car 
from yesterday afternoon from 4.30 until... We drove all night, and then when we got here, we all slept in the house. Uh, so once we got some, we're getting some rest, uh, two of us did hear piano keys play. Is there anybody in this house with us right now? There's only two of us. We're not here to hurt you. We want to know if either of the Stillinger girls are here. Or any of the Moore family. Broadcast interruption. I might need to be standing up. Somebody said, I'll know they got them. <laughs> uh, somebody tell me if, if you if you see us, if you can hear us. We don't have good signal here. Even, even my cell, it doesn't have. I would do hot spots. But... Okay, can you hear me now? Can you guys see and hear me? We lost about half the viewers there. It'll post online. It's okay. Jeremy, you guys out there, y'all are watching. Can you hear me or no? I want to make sure I'm not recording yet. Okay, our numbers just jumped right back up. Okay. It's good now. Thank you, Linda. Awesome. Okay, guys, thank you. So pay close attention to the mirrors. He covered all the min all the mirrors and all the windows in the home while committing the murders. He laid a lantern at the foot of the bed and used the axe on both girls in the bed. Awesome. I heard you, Jay. Thank you. So the owner tells us that you can slam doors. That'd be really awesome, especially after a 15-hour drive. Uh, did you hear that? Yeah. That was a tum 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 and it stopped. Okay. Yeah. But was it above us? It yeah, didn't. it sounded like it. It may have been a car door. Did you hear that creaking? Yeah. Are you upstairs? Can you make that noise again? We're not here to harm you. Did you hear that? Or did I just hear that out here? Right before I said we're not here to harm you, I heard a mm -hmm. uh, like a mutter out here mm -hmm. in the living room. We have these devices that are on these dressers that can hear you talk. Please feel free to us. I don't know why the 
audio's in and out. It's very silent. It's extremely silent. For a house this old, you would think there'd be like pops and creeks and oh, especially with us running, been running the heat and it being cold outside, you'd think there'd be all kinds of like pops, but it's dead silent. You know, today Alex and I were talking like, ah, oh, we're going to be in the house all day, be comfortable. And then it turned into, oh, it's going to be kind of spooky when it gets dark in this house. And then right as we walked up to the door, it was like, oh gosh. You yeah, know, like I, it kind of hit us. I'm, yeah, I'm, because this is, this is, along with the Lizzie Borden house, the most haunted house in America. We're standing in it. Well, like it's... It was crazy. We were we were sitting in there earlier, and it just kind of hit me. I was like, well, "We're here." <laughs> yeah, I mean, it started out as just a, a a mentioned dream, a mentioned bucket list, and bam, a few months later, here we are. Um, someone, I'm gonna move a little bit. Somebody did bring up the doll right here. Oh, okay. That doll actually came from a penitentiary nearby. The guy that runs this place. He took a doll out of Aliskax murder house and gave it to his buddy to put in the penitentiary. They took this doll out of the penitentiary to put in here, and they're testing a cross contamination of objects. Was it that one or the one in the chair? No, it's that one, because he pulled it out of this room, and that was the ball headed one there. It's creepy. Yeah, he is. So that's a pretty neat, um, pretty neat test they're, they're trying to do there. I said we move upstairs while I'm just not not 100% convinced. I go up the staircase. The staircase is extremely narrow. You go first with this thermal? Yeah. Alright, be careful with this camera. 